and then this happened. This is still here. This happened on Monday. I literally was teaching and I just heard a loud collapsing sound and I knew exactly what was collapsing when I heard it. So I had to ask my student, um, student, did my bookcases just collapse? And he went, all right, it's another Monday and it's another Monday of me trying to <laughs> vlog and see what happens at the end. So it is September 18th. Yeah, September 18th. Um, it's Monday. We have a district-wide disaster drill today and I'm a little anxious about it because I don't really feel like I know what I'm doing. Um, we've had these before uh, when I was at my previous school, but this one's a little bit more nerve-wracking because we don't we as a staff have never done it together before, so we don't have any type of flow together and I'm in charge of like the search and rescue team but we don't exactly have everything that we need like we don't have walkie talkies I don't know if we have like all the equipment that we would normally have for disaster drill um, so that all makes me a little bit anxious because I have no frame of reference but everyone including the um, principals know that this time around it's going to be a little bit of a hot mess because we don't know how it's going to go and we're new to the site and all of that so hopefully it won't take too long they're anticipating it to take about an hour or so and then we can get on with the rest of our day um the other thing that's supposed to happen today is this will be the first week where i legitimately try and run small groups with wonders so if you watched my vlogs last year you know that we adopted wonders as our new curriculum and um, a big part of wonders is you know the majority of your teaching should be done through um, small groups last year when i taught fifth with my previous team we just didn't really make that happen on a consistent basis because we were still trying to figure out the curriculum, how it was laid out, and how to make that work. Like realistically, the way Wonders has it, you teach a whole group lesson for about 10 minutes and then you pull all these small groups. Well, that just wasn't feasible for us last year for a number of different reasons. Number one, we didn't really have a class makeup where you can just teach something for 10 minutes and that's enough for the kids to be able to get it and then you pull small groups. That was one reason. The other reason is our uh, size of the groups. Like our groups that were considered to be approaching, meaning below grade level, were more than 50% of the class. So for us, it didn't really make sense to try and squeeze in multiple little groups when the vast majority of your class needs the same thing. So that was another reason. Um, so there are multiple reasons, but this year I'm committed to really trying to make it work the way that it's designed to the best of my ability. So this week, my focus with Wonders is on a, a lot of small group teaching. If not, the majority of the teaching through Wonders is going to be through small groups. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. I am planned. I know what groups I'm pulling and when. I know what I'm doing with each group. But it's still the anxiety of the unknown. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, today is Monday. So for us, that is a minimum day, which means every Monday we get out at 1.15 so that we have time to prep. Sometimes those minimum days after school are taken by staff meetings, but most of the time it's your time to kind of get yourself ready for the week or ready for whatever the case may be. Um, and I will be meeting with another teacher to kind of go over some things in terms of the coming weeks some lesson planning so that's how I will be spending my prep time um, I also know that I need to start working on getting everything together for conference week um, finish getting my grades in but also just deciding what it is I want to share with parents we decided last year Liza did this but I didn't and, but I thought it was a good idea which is by the time I knew she was doing it it was too late for me to do it um, but as a staff because I asked at the staff meeting and then it turned into um, everyone deciding to do it. We are going to send our progress reports home the Friday before conferences start so that parents have a chance to look at the grades over the weekend, digest them, accept them, <laughs> and then when we have the conference with them, we're not spending the vast majority of our time just looking at grades that are already established. Rather, talking about ways to help improve the grades if that's what needs to happen or ways to continue to see that growth 
or other um, information we would want them to know as a parent about their child as a student. So I kind of need to get those things together between now and Monday because my first conference will be on Monday. So all in all, um, I'm feeling better. If you watch my, or if you follow me on Instagram, I did a live Insta story on Friday, just basically saying that last week was very rough for me for um, different reasons. Some were work related, some were, um, related to just stress in my own personal life and just the combination of managing school and all school and teaching um, I am feeling better and um, it's a new week it's a new day it's a new week um, I am in control I just have to stay calm and as many of you said which I think is true I don't know exactly who said it but someone said the fact that everything feels difficult means that you're in a period of growth which I believe to be true and I believe it is growth for good good reason um, it's just a lot of adjusting for me this year some of it I'm enjoying and some of it I'm not enjoying as much so I'm starting this Monday with a new attitude and a warm cup of coffee because it's actually cooler today so um, yeah so I'm gonna say by here I'm just about at school I got to go in there and get myself together and get ready for this disaster drill and the rest of my day so I will talk to you guys later hope you're having a good morning or a good moment or whatever time of day it is for you but I'll talk to you guys later well hello there it is me look at me vlogging it's Monday at 10 minutes to 4 and it has been kind of a bumpy Monday. We had our district disaster drill today that went relatively smoothly, um, but that was a good hour out of the morning and we already have a shortened day on Monday. So um, I decided not to teach a math lesson today because we're done with the chapter and I didn't want to do review if I didn't think we would have enough time to do it. So we didn't do math and my thought was by not doing math, um, I would be able to get caught up on some of the wonder stuff that I needed to do, which didn't necessarily happen. Um, I was supposed to start my first day of small groups. Didn't have time because, um, what happened? Um, we, well, you know what, I take that back. I did do some wonders, but it was a whole group phonics lesson. Not phonics, it was a whole, yeah. Yes, it was a phonics lesson, sorry. So I did get that done, and then when I was trying to transition to the small group part, it took a lot longer because there was a lot that I needed to introduce to them because this is the first time that we're doing it. And um, I don't know, the lighting is really bad when I hold the camera over there. So, um, it just took a while. Like I needed to show them a, an assignment on Google Classroom that they were gonna be working on while they're not at the back table with me, and it took forever and a day for those third graders to get on Google Classroom and put in the code for my Google Classroom and by the time we got all 29 of them on Google Classroom and entered the code it was lunchtime and then by the then I, I went to lunch optimistic I thought okay we're gonna go to lunch they're all logged in they can at least start planning their writing assignment because the prompt is pretty easy it was, it's just they're going to write a paragraph about a memorable experience that they've had and the focus is that they tell about this exp experience in sequential order using time order words so I thought at least we'll go to lunch we'll have a good 30 minutes they can come back and at least start planning and I can at least pull like one group and get them going well, then I got back and I realized, well, we still need to do their quick multiplication baseline test because we are studying our multiplication facts in addition to just understanding conceptually what multiplication is. And then I had to make sure homework was passed out and all the Chromebooks got put away in time. And then when I looked at the clock, um, just from my experience at this grade level so far, I knew that all of that could very easily take 30 minutes. And sure enough, it just about did. So we didn't get as far as I wanted to. Um, with wonders and just prior to that a very 
emotionally upsetting thing happened. So I'm gonna get up and show it to you. So I'm going through the whole process of telling my kids about this Google Classroom assignment and trying to get them all logged in. And the student that helps kids get their Chromebooks um, is doing his job. He's standing, getting ready to help kids out. And then suddenly I just hear this tumbling sound. And as soon as I heard it, I knew exactly what had happened. And so I very slowly looked up, hoping that I was wrong, and saw that this happened. So this is where I have all my books, my picture books stored, and this little half of these crates that I have been zip tying in all sorts of formations um, since the beginning of the school year totally collapsed. So I asked him, I said, were you leaning on that or something? And he said, yes. I, I tried to stay very calm because I knew that he felt bad because it was probably very clear that I was like devastated that that fell. And so I have some books right here. And at this point, I just am not even sure what to do with this thing because I've zip tied it and I can't really blame him because I've known that it's kind of this precarious situation because the amount of the weight that these books are putting on this thing that's not really made to hold books, but I've been trying to make it work. And so now my classroom has this area of imperfection and it's really getting to me. So while I was trying to get them through Google Classroom, I was already short in patience because I was just focused on the fact that that had just happened. So that happened. Um, the air conditioner has stopped working in my classroom. I don't know why. Luckily it's this week and not the past couple of weeks where it's been blazing hot. Today it's pretty reasonable. Um, so hopefully that's fixed by tomorrow. But the positive in my life right now in this classroom is this is here. This came last week and it is my charging cart. So when I saw the maintenance person or the, the delivery guy with the assist assistant, excuse me, assistant principal at my door with this giant box, I knew it was my charging cart. And so I got really excited. Um, and my class and I had a five second party. So isn't this much more civilized in terms of storing Chromebooks? So what's nice about this one that I didn't have at my previous school is that, I don't know if you can see, but the numbers are already kind of engraved into the cart itself. Um, it holds up to 29 Chromebooks and I priced these. Let me make sure I can get this closed for my principal and I want to say that it cost about eight eight hundred nine hundred dollars it was less than a thousand so the plan was to get everyone one here at the site but then our school kind of grew unexpectedly um, I don't think I ever told you guys that like our enrollment was supposed to start at 300 and something we are at 525 because during those last few weeks of school preschool was at it um, and that added to the amount of students and it just it just got much bigger than what it was supposed to meaning that the money that we have available to us is now being stretched amongst more um bodies so now i'm the only one with the charging card and i gave my kids this big speech about how we need to really take care of it um and use it wisely because we're like the class that's testing it to convince our principal that this is something that all teachers need and that students would benefit from. So, it's been a bumpy Monday. I think that the stuff that I didn't get to with Wonders today, I'm gonna have to somehow consolidate it tomorrow. Um, and I'm just gonna try and just keep trucking along and hope that everything gets done by the end of the week because I'm supposed to be wrapping this um, stuff up by the end of this week. So I'm just waiting for my friend to come over so that we can get some work done together. And um, that's it. So that has been my Monday. My book storage unit collapsed. My air conditioner started or decided to stop working. And I didn't even get to pull one small group for wonders. So kind of annoying, but um, not too bad. So I'm gonna get to work and I will talk to you guys later. It's 6.15 um, on Tuesday and I'm pretty sure this is the first time I'm checking in with you guys. I am on my way to, um, I think it's an African-American parent 
community group, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I was told about it by my former principal and she um, let me and the other people in the committee know that it was going on and she asked if I wanted to go and I said yes Continue because the road for one mile. I'm interested in the topic. Um, so I left school at about four o'clock, which is very good for me. I think I, I'm really trying to be better about just maximizing my time. And now that Liza's not around to distract me, it's a little bit easier to leave on time because I'm very task oriented at work because of that and because I have to be. So I left home, um, work at about four and then I came home took Genesis on our walk um, and then I talked to my cousin for a little while hey Crystal if you're watching and was talking to her and simultaneously cooking dinner so most of the dinners cooked I just have to brown the butter when I get back it's a blue apron meal and um, eat it so I'm going to this meeting it's supposed to be from 630 until 8 so I'll get home after 8 but dinner will be done and then I just have to find something to wear tomorrow and maybe do some work, but maybe not. As far as my day, guys, there just is not enough time in the day. No matter how efficient I try and be and like get the kids moving, everything just takes longer. So we did a math review today. We are taking the chapter four test and go math tomorrow. Chapter four for us is still like conceptual understanding of uh, multiplication. And I like to do the whole one half of the review is a like a Kagan activity. Typically, I always do find someone who. Um, I showed that in one of my vlogs from last school year, and I haven't shown it in a vlog this year. And normally, we can go through the activity of find someone who, and then go over the, pro the problems that we did in class and discuss them and clear up any sort of misunderstanding or misconceptions if necessary. And then when they go home, they're completing the rest of the re review test for homework. Well, we did the find someone who, we didn't get any time to go over it because I had to move on with other things. So tomorrow, I am charged with going over the problems from find someone who, plus the problems that um, they are doing for homework tonight and any questions they may have about that. So I'm kind of dreading tomorrow because I feel like the bulk of the day is gonna be taken up by math. On top of the fact that we have P, so that's already hour out of my morning. So aside from not having enough time in the day, um, my success on the second road. of the day is that I did my first legitimate small group for wonders. Today was just like an introduction to them as to what they were going to be doing, what they were going to be responsible for. I didn't get to all the groups. I got to three out of the five. I think I have five or six. Um, so I'm still behind with a couple of other ones, but I'm pretty sure I can figure out a way to make it up tomorrow. Um, so I felt good about it and I can see how I would enjoy that more than doing a whole group. So um, it's just a matter of making sure that I Continue following stay disciplined with my timing of things and like getting the kids trained so that it moves a little bit more quickly throughout the day. So that, that was it. We pretty much did math and um wonders stuff and that's that was about it nothing else really exciting is going on so but i definitely want to check in today because i'm trying my hardest to make sure i get some vlogging done i don't know if i mentioned yesterday on top of all the other things that went wrong like my book shelving unit falling apart um, my aide didn't show up yesterday but today is I found out it's not that she didn't show up it's that her schedule changed and she does not work on Mondays anymore and my air conditioner also went out so it's still not working and no one showed up today to fix it so hopefully that gets fixed as soon as possible but anyway um, I'm on my way there it was today was fine nothing traumatic happened um so that's it i'll talk to you guys later hello everyone it is wednesday at about um seven o'clock i just had to get in this position because my arm was already tired i'm obviously home in my bathroom getting ready to take a shower and get um, my clothes out for the next day but i wanted to check in because i am really trying to make a conscientious effort 
of checking in each day so that I actually have a vlog to put up for you guys. And um, what I realized today is that last year, if I had like a moment or two to spare or I had a little bit of time left um, between activities, that would be the time that I'd pick up my camera. And this year, since I'm so focused on time management and making use of every single minute of my day, that doesn't really happen, which is why um, I haven't had much in terms of vlogs. But I know that you guys understand. And I'm sorry if I'm redundant in every vlog where I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I will get better. Um, but I really am very hyper-focused on time management this year. So if I have five minutes to spare, it, typically I will find something that I can at least start doing within those five minutes as opposed to picking up the camera because I gotta I gotta get my stuff together um, as far as today it pretty much went the way I thought it was the bulk of the day was consumed by them going to PE taking a math test I got a little bit of wonders done uh, my class is still struggling with the concept of when I'm at the back table I am not available to them or being aware of the fact that even if I'm at the back table, I can see that you're not working on what I asked you to work on. So there's been a lot of pauses with just getting that kind of stuff together. Um, sorry, I was trying to see what Genesis was doing. And so that's that's a work in progress, but I gotta remind myself these are third graders, they, they're in training mode and they'll get there. Um, so that's pretty much it. After school, I had to go to a meeting at, for the union. Well, and the meeting was just across the way, so I didn't have to drive to it. But that lasted until about a quarter to six. Um, call me crazy. But I did express interest in joining the negotiations team this year, which is the team of people that um, go to the negotiations table when it's time for contract negotiations. I know that I'm already busy and my intellectual logical self said before I sent the email to express interest, Botania, you are already busy. Do you really have time to do it? But I really do enjoy doing it. Um, I just think it's an interesting process. And um, I haven't vlogged in a while so my arm gets fatigued very quickly. <laughs> um, and we have a new union president this year and I'm just curious to see what the process is like with a different person um, in charge as president. So um, today at the meeting, I found out that I was chosen to be on the team because quite a, I don't know how many people express interest, but I know more people than what's necessary express interest. And so I was chosen to be a part on the team, which I'm happy about, but I'm a little disappointed by because a couple of people that I've done it with for the past few years were not on the team. And I just assumed that they would be, but that didn't, it didn't quite happen that way. Um, so I will miss having them there, but the people that are on the team, I know each of them and you know, we get along and they're all very nice. But, um, so part of me is wondering if I'm crazy to have even signed up for that during a, a year like this, but I, we won't find out until I'm in the thick of it. So that meeting lasted until about a quarter to six. Then I went back to my room and cleaned it up for the next day. Um, and then I came home, walked Genesis, and now here I am. So, that's, that's my situation. Um, as far as my experience with the new school, it just is, it's, I mean, you just take for granted all the little things that you have established at your previous school when you're at a new school and then you realize we don't have a protocol for that. So, um, that's always interesting when something comes up. Um, this tonight, when I finish talking to you guys, I need to make sure that my grades are pretty much updated because conferences start next week and um, I need to have my grades updated for progress reports and kind of have a game plan as to what I want to share with parents. So I need to go downstairs and make sure that's squared away. And that was the other reason why I didn't check in at all during the day. Normally, last year, every now and then I check in during my prep time, but today I had to make sure all that stuff was ready to be sent home. So, just a regular day at school, teaching, working with the little third graders, trying to get them to be more independent. What I will say is we've gotten quite a few compliments over the past 
week or so about our manners and how polite we are and that makes me happy because that is something that I try and work on with my class like I do feel like it's important to teach kids how to speak to people when you someone walks in the room say good morning if somebody does something for you say thank you if people are walking just step aside give them the right away and people are noticing so i think that makes the class feel good too so i need to go find something to wear and then i need to take a shower but this is probably going to be it for the night as far as me vlogging i will check in with you guys tomorrow Hopefully, I will find a few minutes to do that. So, I'll talk to you soon. Good evening, I will say it is um, 6.05 on Friday, which is late for me to be here on a Friday, but I knew I would be here later. I am just cleaning up and straightening up in my classroom. Quite honestly, I will be probably coming in on Sunday just to make extra sure that I'm super ready um, for conference week. But I just had to do some organizing. Like I had to get the paperwork together that I wanted to share during conference week. Um, this year, we are sending progress reports home the Friday before conference week, which is today. And I had my progress reports all ready to go. And a school ended and the kids left. And then I suddenly realized I forgot to hand them out. So I had to send a text to my parents through a mind to say, I realized I forgot to hand them out, um, but that, that they would be coming home on Monday. And I think I forgot to hand them out because it's new to me. Like we normally, or at least in my experience, I did not give out progress reports until um, the conference was actually happening. And I actually asked my new principal if we can send them out beforehand because I really wanted to try that because Liza had such a great experience doing it. And then it became um, a staff thing because that's what she did at her previous school. And so I just thought, how ridiculous. I'm the one that kind of brought that about and then I forget to pass them out. So I had to get everything organized for that. Um, I don't know, I feel like I feel like I have a lot of things to do, but I can't even really articulate what it is. I just feel like I do. But um, I am straightened up, straightened up enough in here to feel like I can leave and it's six o'clock and I wanna go home and walk Genesis. And I think what I'm going to do is um, after I walk Genesis, just spend a relaxing Friday evening maybe buying myself something um, just because it's just been a very hectic first six weeks of school for me and a lot of changes have been going on and I feel like I want to sit down and just have a moment of honesty for a second and I have to sit down because I can already tell you that my arm is going to be getting tired so I'm going to put you down right here where I know the lighting is not the best uh, but basically it's been a really rough six weeks, not so rough that I'm like traumatized or regretting um, moving schools, but just an adjustment, a growing period, if you will. And um, one, of the, one of the reasons why I haven't vlogged as much is because I feel like what, what you guys liked about the vlogs last year is you felt like I was very real and authentic and just shared my full feelings and emotions about how my day was going or my year was going. And I will still do that. I think um, what's gonna be missing though is that you guys will probably just be seeing me in the vlogs and not really get a, a taste of um, my team. My team is very small right now. It is me and one other person. And um, what was nice about last year is I had just two very willing teammates, Liza and Cindy, who were on 
several vlogs and I liked that because it showed a full picture of what my day-to-day -day life was like and who I was working with and I just know that this year that won't be the case so I almost feel like the vlogs will be authentic but there will be this chunk of my working experience day to day that you guys won't ever see so and that's just a little weird for me um so i don't know i just i don't know i just feel like kind of it's kind of saddens me that it's going to be that way but at the same time um not everybody is liza and cindy and um I'll just leave it at that. So <laughs> um, I just want to put that out there so that you don't ever wonder, well, who's your teammate? Who are you working with? I don't think that I'll ever make reference to my teammate and I don't ever envision us being on camera together going through that. Um, so I just kind of want, want to let you guys know early on so that you don't wonder too much. But it's just been, it's it's been an adjustment, but I know that it's going to be an adjustment in a good way down the line. So with all that being said, and all that adjusting going on, I think I'm going to go home, walk Genesis, and then give myself just some time on a Friday evening to maybe buy myself a thing or two and just relax. I'm trying to make Fridays the evenings where I don't really do too much work. And I will be honest, there's a part of me that's like, you can't afford to have not one evening where you don't do any work. But I think for my sanity, I have to do this. Um, um, so as far as next week, I'm a little anxious about how it's going to go because conferences always give me anxiety, especially given the fact that the format is going to be different. So I sent home a little questionnaire for parents, just ask them some very basic questions about any concerns they have with their child. And then I will gear my um, conversation with them around that. Of course, I've, if I have some serious academic concerns, those will show up as well. I plan to share their child's reading level with them. I have not finished leveling all my students yet because I don't have the assistance of an aide here at this school, so it's taking much longer. But I want them to know where their child is at in terms of their Fontas and Pinnell reading level. Um, I hope to show them the beginning of the year math test that I gave them so they can kind of see if there were some any, if there were any um, areas of math that they need to work on. And, um, use that information to help them set or sit down with their child and set their goal this year for growth mindset. Like I'm really hoping that they take that and then take this whole growth mindset thing that I'm implementing in my class this year seriously. Um, and so from that question, I just skimmed through a couple of them and I always take offense when a parent says that their child um, doesn't like school or their child is bored or their child is anxious about school because I don't know if they're insinuating that those emotions are occurring because they think I'm causing them or they're just telling me that in general. And I think I'm hyper sensitive this year because I know I'm coming from fifth to third and I honestly feel like as much as I enjoy the third graders, I honestly feel like by nature, my demeanor, my approach is better suited for older kids. And that's why I felt like fifth grade was like the spot for me. Um, and sometimes I get frustrated because I feel like some parents, not all, I have some really great parents that understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, but I do feel like sometimes there's some parents that are looking at their child's experience in school as like a, um, not like babysitting, but they just don't understand the demands that I have as a teacher in terms of what I'm responsible for teaching them and what their child is supposed to be learning in such a short period of time. And so I don't think they understand um, like why my methods are my methods or why I'm so serious about what I want the kids to do and how I want them to do it and why their kid is not going to be entertained all day in a classroom. I had to tell my class today because we were going over a test that collectively as a class there was one section or one big concept of that test that as a class we didn't do well on. And so we were going through the test, just going through it, and some of the kids were pulling out books to read as if they didn't need to pay attention to what I was doing. Um, and this was after I told them only one student in the class had really mastered the skill and it was sequencing, like recognizing events in a sequence. And some of them just looked like, why are we doing this? And I had to explain, guys, every waking moment of your day in school can't be entertaining. There's just gonna be parts of the day where it's just very straightforward. This is some information we need to learn. And sometimes I feel like parents don't always understand that. like. I wish I could come to school and we just 
sat on the carpet and did art and everything was very relaxed and lighthearted. But un unfortunately, it's not. There's things they have to learn. There's things I have to teach. So I had a few moments today where I'm like, I just feel like parents don't understand um, what it's like and what the pressure is like and how teaching has changed from what either they conceptualized teaching to be or what they experienced when they were in school because it's certainly different from when I was in school, you know. So anyway, I just want to check in. I don't know if I'm going to close the vlog here. Um, I know that I didn't capture every day of this week. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday, but it was pretty busy. But I am um, working on just at least checking in with you guys a little bit. So I just finished watching Michelle from Pocket Pull pocket pool pocket full of primary I just now saw her first week of school and watched her just kind of go through the motions of realizing there's no way to get everything done and I wish I could talk to her directly at that moment to say because she's doing much more with social media than I am and her YouTube channel um, it's just when school starts there's just no way to you know get everything done and feel like you're doing it well so it her misery unfortunately made me feel like okay I'm not the only one because I'm like how are all these other teachers getting videos out and I just can't seem to get it done so anyway I've packed up my stuff is over there on that table I'm getting ready to go I'll show you what my classroom looks like right now um, I've added some things since I think I last spoke this wall is a work in progress. This is just me eyeballing where things are going to go. It's not straight. It's not um, spaced correctly. If Liza were here right now, she'd take real issue with the fact that there's more space on that side than that side. But I need to fix that eventually, maybe this weekend. Um, a parent, look at this, guys. I am going to be trying the 40 book challenge. And I just met with the parent a couple weeks ago and said, hey, can you help me out with this? This is something I would really like to try but I don't have the time to manage it. And so I just gave her this pack that I bought off Teachers Pay Teachers and she's a very creative type of person. And she came up with this, I, <laughs> this vision of, you know, kids earning different levels. So if they read 10 books, I think if they, read 20 books they'll get a little symbol in this bookcase that she's made if they get to 30 books then they're in the fish tank 40 plus books they're in the bird cage so she made all of these things and i just think it looks so nice um so that's an addition that i am not responsible for these here are from teachers pay teachers i'll try and remember where i got it from but i would like to do a lot of reading obviously this year and just have the kids figure out what we read and kind of figure out what theme it fits under so those are just different themes um walking over here I got my Chromebook charging card, everybody. Here it is. It's massive, much bigger than the one I had. I don't like that this cord is stretched from there to there, but I'm going to get over it. And then this happened. This is still here. This happened on Monday. I literally was teaching, and I just heard a loud collapsing sound, and I knew exactly what was collapsing when I heard it. So I had to ask my student, um, student, did my bookcases just collapse? And he went... And so I walked over and he was leaning on it because truth be told, I knew that was gonna happen. So now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. But that's been like that since Monday and I haven't had time to fix it. I might do that this weekend. So anyway, that's it. That's my week. I'm gonna say goodbye for here. I always say that goodbye for here. I'm going to say goodbye right now because I don't think I'll vlog anymore uh, for the day or for the week. So. I'm glad I checked in with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how it's going to turn out because it feels very haphazard the way that I did it this week. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys are having a great week. I think most of us are back in school by now. I hope it's going well for you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.